I'm not trying to fuck the vibes up. Neither of us really wanted nothing serious, so... Were you really with her yesterday? Ow! What the fuck? Bro, love is the easiest thing in the world when it happens by accident, but it doesn't get real until you do it on purpose. Love is a mother, boy. It'll find us all. It'll hurt us all. Damn it. It's the only thing that'll save us all. So, man, I, I guess first thing I, first thing I got to know, since this is all on Netflix, are we going to get any more of Black AF? I mean, like, I know you put that out there and <laughs> mixed reviews. I loved it personally. I, I was like hoping we was gonna get another season of that. Is is, is that a one I, and done? May, maybe it's it's been in our mind. We are. Uh, I would love to do it. I left Netflix and went to Viacom. I still have a great net, relationship with Netflix. But we and I loved it. It was some of our favorite projects we've ever done. It's interesting. So I just got back from Atlanta. I I, I cannot tell you how often I'm approached about when season we were picked up for season two. And then we left, and so we really feel like we, if we do it, we'd love to do it in a way that feels really special. But I'm, I'm glad you watched it, and I'm, I appreciate everyone who, you know, I did not expect it to be received the way it was, so it means a lot. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, as a creator, I, I mean, I know this this uh, was born out of Kay Cuddy's mind or whatever, but as a creator, when you have an animation, and I feel like this hasn't been, like these adult animations hasn't been a, a Black our, our culture's bag as much as it could be. But as a creator, do you feel like you could do a lot more stuff when you have that world to to not have physical restraints of, of budgetary things that you have to do uh, that you could create in animation? Do you feel like the story lends for, for more stretch, I guess? Absolutely, but let me be clear. There was this, 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 this cost a lot. <laughs> so there was, there was, we had budgetary restraints. <laughs> but um, I do think from a, storytelling point, the idea that you can make a character do anything in animation is something I, I have not experienced before. I'm actually doing uh, the Bob Marley animated, you know, a movie around Bob Marley's music. And it was, this was such a good preparation for that because one of the things that Fletch and the team, you know, that came together to make this let me know is that animation is the only thing in the world where everything you see is, per is absolutely purposeful. There's no accidents. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, you might get a happy accident of someone walking behind or a lens flare. Every single, single thing you see in animation is absolutely done purposely, and that makes it a really special, you know, medium. Yeah. How was it working with the music and and the uh, story and the art for this one? Like, to, to have that combination of uh, uh, Kid Cudi's music with, with Scott, with Scuddy's, uh writing, like, how... how like, how did that blend together for you? Everything was was complementary of each other. You know what I'm saying? It was the first time, a, I, I think to my knowledge, it's the first time an album and a, a series have come together and been come at the same time. And every track of the album relates to a, a, a chapter in the, in the series. And they, they really complement each other. It's not a soundtrack. They really go together to sort of build, you know, a story and they really... Um, I, I, I guess you could say a convergent piece of art, you know what I'm saying, from the fashion to the music to um, the characters to the dialogue to the art. The art, everything comes together and without one, the other doesn't work. And I think that's what makes this really special. I swear there's a dog whistle that lets women know as soon as you get lit. Oh, you got a promotion? Hey, big head. Every time. Kai, she ain't hit me up. I ran into her on the street. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. Yeah, come on, what the fuck, bro? That's not that's not a coincidence. My man. That is fate. Your man. Look, just hear me out. You haven't seen Carmen in how long? Like five, six months? Why? Six months? Bro, and nothing? And on the day you move into this one percent ass apartment, she just Beetlejuices back into her life out of nowhere? Come on! She's not back into my life, Jimmy. You're not back in my life? Good! Keep it that way. We don't need Carmen in here trying to Carmen up your whole situation. Bari, I hate to say it, but Jimmy got a point. You're a bachelor now. This is a bachelor pad. After so many successful seasons of blackish, grownish, um, do you have any like withdrawal from like now having wrapped that show? Is there any blackish withdrawal going on in your creative mind? Um, I think we could have done blackish for 10 more years. I really do. Um, I, I feel like um, 
you know, uh, but I, I think that it, we were lucky to go out and be able to say goodbye the way we did. I, I look forward to many more seasons of, of Grownish. And I just, I, I love the idea of being able to do things like this because all those projects I learned something from that I hopefully I bring to, to these things. And I think the biggest thing for me is just making sure that to keep elevating, you know what I'm saying? And making sure that we are, you know, putting ourselves in positions where we're doing things that feel like, you know, inspiring other young, younger generations to come and say, let's do it and do it better and do it better and do it bigger um, and do things that we haven't seen before, so. All right, well, well brother, you always inspiration to see you doing your thing, man, and keep on knocking down on doors again, them big deals. Leo Love, I'm August 12th, so it's always there, we like, are, there it is. <laughs> there, there it is. is. Make sure you talk. <laughs> All right, bro. I appreciate it. What's what's Black Tree from? Black Tree is just uh it's just the root of our people, man, telling our stories and, and having ownership in our media. So we've been around for 25 years now. We're gonna keep on doing it. I love that. I love that. Well, congrats, man, and keep it up.